Hello, my name is Dennis Van Eostorp. I'm with the Honeybee Informed Partnership. And today I will be talking about the colony placement and honey production as it pertained to the management and winter loss survey of 2011-2012. This is a very complicated graph, but basically what we ask beekeepers are, did you place your colonies near these different crops over the when your colonies were producing honey? And a couple of things stand out. One of those is that people who were by cotton lost significantly fewer colonies than those who were not beside cotton. However, this is where it's really important to remember that this is monofactorial data. You'll also know that cotton is only grown in the south, and in the south they lose fewer colonies than they do in the north. And that, it turns out, can solely explain that difference. Because if you look in the south only, you'll find that the people who were by cotton lost just as many colonies as those who were not near cotton. We can also look at honey production. And we can ask beekeepers, did you, do you usually produce honey in this season? Did you produce more than average, average or below average? And it seems that there was a strong relationship between the time of year that they produced honey and survivorship. Beekeepers who, who reported have, having lower than average honey crops in the spring or no honey crop in the spring at all reported having much higher losses than those who reported above average production in the spring. So they were not apparent in the summer, nor were they apparent in the fall or the winter. So it seems that there seems to be some relationship between what's happening in the spring in terms of honey production and your overwintering success the next year. The information is for educational purposes only. References to commercial products or trade names do not imply endorsement by the Bee Informed Partnership or its members. The results presented here are the summary of the population who responded. The sample may not be representative of the beekeeping population at large. These results simply highlight differences in the sample population. The results cannot be considered conclusive, causative, protective, or a test to product efficacy or lack of efficacy.